because if Terry wait for it, it, it shall surely come and shall not. So, Terry, so it's here, it's at the door, it's open at the door. So, so now what I did was I went to Revelation 3, verse 10. We already know about, ultimately it's going to come down to Revelation 13, verse 16. And then everybody's going to, eyes are going to be on GMS. Because the records is out there, the videos is out there, as of what we said two years ago, five years ago, four years ago, uh, 15 years ago. So these other people that say different, you can, the, the, re the receipts are either there or they're not there. And a lot of you that are in the faith, that are strong in the faith, you're gonna really be tested. You know, I see it this way that you're gonna lose everything. You're living in a house, you're not part of the buying and selling. You gotta pay rent, so you gotta buy into stay, keeping a roof over your head. So we'll be homeless, whether there'll be a place for us to stay that the most I will set up for us, Isaiah 65. Uh, they shall eat, my servants shall eat. So we, we will be taken care of some kind of way. But it's going to be a test. The ones of you that got fat, uh, families, what did the Apostle Paul say? Better that you just be on your, uh, be on your own. So you may be strong, but is your wife going to be strong? And the test is to see what you're going to do. You know, you're going to say, oh, no, we, you, you, you miss a meal for three days, you, you're going to panic. You got to eat and your kids got to eat. So that's when that faith has to kick in. So it says, now, we taught that this is the MOTB, the test. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience, meaning we kept into this, we kept inside of his word, reading the word, going out of the highways and the byways, doing the videos. And now we do videos if the Spirit's on us, I'll do two or three videos. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour. Now, in the NLT, it says time. Now, you look up the word hour right here. The word means any time. It's, it could be in a season of temptation, which shall come upon the whole, the, all the world. Now, that word world is not cosmos, it's not eon, it's oikum, and he made the whole entire earth. Go back to the jump shot, that was given to the whole entire earth to try or test them that dwell upon the earth. That word there is gay or gi or geo, which means the whole earth. This is um, oikum, many, the whole inhabited earth, the people on the earth, and earth is the uh, geo, the, 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 the place that you live. If you got rid of all people, what, what's left is a geo. The world are the people. Behold, I come quickly, hold, hold that fa fast, tight, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So what are we to hold on to? This truth. And we're to do what the scriptures say do. So when this, when the, when the, uh, the revelation, the MOTB, actually comes to pass, that's the main, that's the main test. You pass that test because you know the scriptures. You pass that test sure to get a seat on uh, the chair on your house shy's uh, chariot so let me just do this I'm trying not to make this long Logo. 
of my patience, I will also, also I will also I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So we're going to be tested, man. Strong's G, 3986, by Rasmus, by Rasmus. It says an experiment. And you guys are the, the, the lab rats, the test dummies. Uh, attempt. A trial, that's why they're going to have those uh, the sinners for the ones that's not going to take it. You have a lot of Edomites that know exactly what it is. It's the MOTB. Proving. We're going to see most likely going to separate the men from the boys. So if you lose, if you're a boy, you're going to take it. If you took a bag and you're in Israel, top lead in Israel, you're gonna push it. Like I said in previous videos, this is gonna be a major shakeup. This is the last, the, 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 you have three prophecies left, major prophecies. This prophecy here, and destruction and deliverance, or the deliverance and destruction. You fail this test, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be on the, on the good side of uh, of the next two prophecies. We've been telling you, you can't say, well, I didn't know if the most high, the most high, I've been telling you to us. Yeah, but I was by the IUIC and I thought, well, you thought, This trial proving uh, the trial made of you by my bodily condition. Yeah, because you're going to be starving at first. But uh, Isaiah 65 gonna kick, uh, is going to kick in. Since, con since conditions serve as to test the love of the Galatians toward Paul. Now, was not our Lord tested fasted for 40 days and 40, 40 nights and spiritual dean of Satan tested him. First thing he tested him, tested him with was bread. So he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the, of the Most High. The trial, and oh, when this thing happens, everybody's gonna realize these different camps and so forth, they're gonna realize that that's exactly what we've been saying for years. The trial of man's uh, fidelity or faith, integrity, and Job, Job had passed the test because he was a man of integrity. Virtue, virtue uh, constancy, an enticement to sin. Taking the the, the, the jump shot or, or the, uh, the MOTB is not sin, it's a sin. It's something that you're not to do. If you're one of the elect. And if you're one of the if you're one of the elect, you would know about it. If you're not one of the elect, you're not gonna know about it. Uh, you're not gonna know that this is in the scriptures. It says temptation, whether arising from the desires or from the outward circumstance, because you're going to have to deal with the circumstance that you're in. And, you know, we're going to have to pass. If, we, if you want to make it, you better pass. If you, don't, if you don't pass this test, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to be on the ship, which means you're not one of the elect. The elect is going to take it.
it says right here of the temptation by which the devil, the spiritual demon Satan, sought to divert. It says here, Jesus, we know that Jesus, the word there should be there, Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, Hamashiach. <clears throat> From his divine errand. What is an errand? Somebody said, okay, do me, I'm, I'm gonna give you this money, go and get this. You work for a particular job or whatever. So guess what? The most high sent us for an errand. He gave us the instructions as what to do and what to, as what not to do. And this, they're gonna tempt you with this, but don't deal with it. Um, because you're on an errand, an errand. So you got guys that came into this thing in the 90s or whatever, the 80s and uh, fell off and turning it back. We know all, we can mention names all day. And these guys watch our video, they watch all our videos. And because they fell off, they turned it back on the plow, went back into the world. They're part of the world, they become part of the world. So the world's gonna take it. But they're gonna know not to take it because they're what, listening to us. Some of them are the fucking coffers, coffers, man. And a lot of them are gonna take it knowing that they that 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 it's an MOTB, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get weak and take it. <clears throat> Here's the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy. To the only wise power, our Savior, be glory, our majesty, dominion, and power, both now and never, so be it. Giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Wachaha Kwadash. <coughs> And double honor to mighty chairs, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of great millstone, who watch over our souls. Shall warm to the Akim who avoided our sincere and serious during the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mokha, Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 to you all. Stay strong and stay mighty. <coughs> I'm the brother of the disciple Kosha Benyamin from the Brian Chain Great Millstone Barbados. I uh, just want to respond to Apostle Tara's video. You are really going to be tested. You are really going to be tested. Yeah. You are really going to be. I am really going to be tested, boy. You know what I mean? Real thing. Um. You know, a lot of you think that um, this truth is a game. A lot of you really think that this is the kingdom. A lot of you are institutionalized. You are slaves that have become comfortable in this world. You know what I mean? And Yahweh Shai said, if this were my kingdom, my servants would fight. You see? But this is not our rest. Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even if a sore destruction. See? So, yeah, this is really, here the apostles gave you a scenario. Uh, you, can lose, you, can, you will lose your, the ones that will not take it. You will lose your homes. Um, your vehicles, you know what I mean? Um, things that you acquired in Babylon, you know what I mean? Is that what the Apostle Paul said? Um, let me see if I can get that. I ain't gonna make this long, we just saw our title there, but I saw the title, and um, you know, that really, um, Stick up to me, 
because um yeah I ain't, I ain't got nothing in this world big man you know what I mean I ain't got nothing in this world right but with, with, with the other things I have now with that um will it become we I made a vow I made a vow to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai a couple years ago it was yeah it was fresh in the truth it was real fresh in the truth and um I made a fleshly decision right I got we I made a fleshly decision this was years ago I told about um uh, 2016 I think it is 2016 or 2017 I can't remember but it made a fleshly decision right and uh, ever since then you know I, I acknowledge that I got weak at that time right and I made a vow to the Lord right there right that don't let me make a decision like that like that again right you know what I think so I want to get a preset here let me get this one by the Apostle Paul first Philippians 3 verse 8 yeah doubtless and they cut all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and I tell you Matthew 19 right if you lose house children wife brother sister father mother right for Yahweh Shai said we can receive a hundred four so the milk scriptures is what keeps me um grounded is right that mean the brother in Trinidad was talking about that a while about years ago. The middle scriptures is what keeps us grounded. You know what I mean? It says, For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, <clears throat> and do count them but dung, that I may win Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. You know what I mean? So that's the point. Counting all these things lost is really things that the Apostle Paul said are temporal. Yahweh Shai uh, revealed to the Apostle John that um, this world is passing away. That's right? This world is passing away. The world to come, right? The world to come will be full of immortality. Right? That's why it's telling me in uh, Colossians 3 and 1 uh, set your affection on things above and on things on the earth. Strong's G, 4657, Scubalot, Scubalot. Yeah, that's the word for dumb, right? That's the word for dumb. And, um, what is thrown to the dogs, refuge, order, dumb. You know, the, the, um, the elder brothers, from Texas, well, the others in the chat, you know, they say that it's easier to give up things than to have them taken away. It shows you have more power over these things, you see, than to become a slave to them. See, I remember my when it was when it was about seventeen. I was seventeen. Um, any refuse as the excrement of animals or scourge rubbish. We call all the things but rubbish, brother. Of things worthless and detestable. Sorry? <clears throat> I remember when I was 17, um, I was paying for a car between me and my mother. You know what I mean? And then, um, <laughs> the curse is real here. I was paying for a car and, um, 
I was doing something else, but the PMS mom got too overbearing. It got too overbearing, so instead of me, instead of me um trying to hold on to the car, I drove the car to the dealer. I drove the car to the dealer, took off my, took off the house keys at the time, and I uh, went into the office and I handed over the keys to the car. I told them I, I can't I can't pay for this car anymore. So I, and then I catch the bus and went home. Is that? I wasn't becoming a slave to, you know, the the uh, material things in this world, big man. You know what I mean? And that was at a young age, seventeen. Fast forward years later, twenty four. Built my first house. Twenty four, yeah, twenty four. <clears throat> and um, the slot I did with at the time, right? Um. Long story short, I walk away from that house. I had to pay, I had to, I had to, I had to pay that mortgage. I had to pay for a car. Alright? So I would, I would go work, I was working as a welder at the time. So I would, um, go work, beat up that welding work at the institution, and then I would go home. Right? But I would go down with my father. Cause we built a work shop next to his house. And they started to build some water and gates and things. They started doing some water and work, you know what I mean? Which was good money. So I was paying for that house, paying for that car. It's like trying to maintain that house and that car. And she went and um, opened she legs to another man. It's like. <clears throat> and, um,. You know, long story short, the house were in the rears because I said I ain't paying for the fucking house no more. You know, I, I had done with that. So the house were in the rears and um, the people contact me. Imagine that. They contact me. I tell them I done with that. I didn't with that no more. You know what I mean? But it's standard protocol. They got to give you three months. So they gave me three months to pay X amount of money. Tell them I didn't with that. Um, long story short, she find the money, clear the arrears. Is that? Right? I walk away from that house, brother. I walk away from that house. It takes you and get bigger, my man. You know what I mean? Kidding with that. So that's the mindset I had before this truth. Is that? Right? You know, the Lord called me to this truth now. Right? Um, Ecclesiastes, I made a vote to the Lord, boy. I made a vote to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, boy. Ecclesiastes 5. Then I get shot, shot, man. What's to be long, you know what I mean? Ecclesiastes 5 and um, 4. When thou voice a vow unto the Mosai, defer not to pay. For he have no pleasure in fools, pay that which thou hast vowed. See that? <coughs> Verse 5, Ecclesiastes 5 and 5. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, neither say thou before the angel that it, is, was, that it was an error. Wherefore should the Moses be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? See that? So he made a vow. So which means what? I gotta stick to this vow until my end or the end, big man. You know what I mean? And it, like I said, I made that fleshly decision in the early on this truth. And I tell you, Lola, I I I'm making a vow to you, but I ain't dealing with that so no more. Give me the mind, the heart, the wisdom to see it early. <clears throat> right? Like before, and but this time, don't let me get weak. You know what I mean? This time, let me um, deal with the heat and just accept what comes my way instead of making a, a fleshly weak decision. It, it makes you weak, right? When you, when you overthink things, it makes you weak. When you think with the flesh, it makes you weak. You see? You see? 
If you go walk in the spirit, Galatians 5 16, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You know what I mean? Is that? Right? So this is um Ecclesiastes 5 and 4 in the New Living Translation. And then they get shot, shot, man. You know what I mean? Um, when you make a promise to the Mosai, don't delay in following through. For God, Yahweh, takes no pleasure in fools. Keep all the promises you make to Him. Keep all the promises you make to Him. Right? <laughs> It is better to say nothing than to make a promise and not keep it. Don't let your mouth make you sin. And don't defend yourself by telling the temple messenger, which is the angel, that the promise you made was a mistake. That would make the Mosai angry and he might wipe out everything you have achieved. So it's better that if you think just keep your mouth shut, big man. But I already opened my mouth. I said, Lord, I, you know what I mean? I'm making a vote to you, boy. So let me get a priest at this to rot too. God, this time will come, big man. And I, I was studying this here earlier today too, or earlier this week. Right? Why, why you have a Shimmy or should I give me X, Y, Z? Right? Is it to, to put me to the ultimate test? And look, the apostle said it, boy. It is going to put me to the ultimate test, boy. God, join the. the, the you see, 19, 2019, 2020, 2021, it was pressuring you to get the, to get the, um, the in your arm. I said, fuck that. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. I am not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with it. Is that right? I'm not dealing with it. You know what I mean? And the Lord is still providing me with, with, um, a roof over my head, food in my stomach. You know what I mean? He's still providing for me. But I say I'm not dealing with it. I was ready. I was ready. I was ready, big man. You know what I mean? I was ready. I was trying to get a can to the, um, the hospital, the, the quarantine hospital. You know what I mean? You can't do this. You can't do that. You know what I mean? So then when the ultimate one comes, boy, this one gave me more. This one gave me to the full. Right? You know what I mean? So right two and three, cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou it should have started up verse. So right two and one, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. That's what he did early on in this truth. Is that? I thought very early first. Can't remember the exact year, but it was very early in this truth, man. You know what I mean, verse three: cleave unto him and depart not away. Right? Don't leave the Lord's side, boy. You know you get run over back here. You know you see chickens crossing the road. You will see mother in front, or you will see the mother at the side of the chickens. You know what I mean, and rushing them to the other side of the road. You think you could cross the road for yourself? You get run over. Right? That don't mean it's be increased at a last end. Drop it down to rock 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of, of affliction. <clears throat> Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. It can be double minded. Sorry. Woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believeth not. Therefore he therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. You get weak and you're going to take the, the charagma. Pressure from your wife. Yeah, you possibly mention birds with families. I one of them. Pressure from your wife. Children crying. You know what I mean? 
um, or your, or your immediate family, like your, your father, mother, you're still living, your sister, your brother, your cousin, you know what I mean? All and get it. You holding folk, holding you're getting it. But the pressure so much, you get a pressure override the word of the Lord. That he came upon you and you didn't come out as a diamond, you burst into dust. It says, um, Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? This is my point here. This is your point here. Verse 15, Sarah 2 and 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his, mer for as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So yeah, that's the point there. You ain't going to disobey the Lord's word, but if you take that charagma, right? If you take that, you're putting a foreign entity in your body. You're making a contract with Esau Edom, and the precept already says, make no covenant with the heathen. So this this charagma is, is a binding contract between you and the government. When you put that inside of you, you have you you literally sign the digital paper saying, Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm 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 your property now. You know what I mean? I can adhere to what you say. You make that binding contract contract with the government and the precepts is make no covenant with the heathens and that can be an ultimate covenant so which means you brought that law right and then he says what thou shalt have no other gods before me so you make it Esau your god but you take that charagma you say you trust him you say you fear him you say you love him you say you will depend on him what did he say they tell you I was shy Thou shalt, thou shalt worship uh, uh, the Lord thy power and him only shall thou serve. So you say you can serve Esau, Edom, man. See? That's what you're saying. Right? It's an MOTB, but they're going to, they're going to, they're going to get weak and take it. I said, this is not the best time to be a family man. Because your wife's going to get weak. If she's one of the elect, she'll make it through and your children will make it through. My wife got weak. I did a video years ago and she took the job. She took the job. See? It's a surprise that nothing happened to she yet because a lot of people that took this job get fuck up, big man. You know what I tell you? A lot of people that took this job get fucked up, brother. It's a point that happened to she. Maybe Angel watching over she through me. I don't know. But God, I love him like I have a shy. You know what I mean? Um, the Lord working some miracle, some something here, boy. But when that thing come, <laughs> I'm speaking for myself here. Remember Lot's wife, big man. Remember Lot's wife. And I tell when I made that vow. I made that vow. I am not turning back. I am not breaking that vow. For the Lord to be angry with me. Nah. I good. So. We continue here. It's an MOTB. But they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna get weak and take it. A lot of them are going to take it. Knowing that they. That 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 it's an MOTB, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get weak and take it. I said this is not the best time to be a family man, cause your wife's gonna get weak. If she's one of the elect, she'll make it through, and your children will make it through. The ultimate test.
there, there's a preacher in Jeremiah, I'm trying to remember it, and it says, um, um, don't build a, um, I forget how it goes, um, but it's in Jeremiah, I forget the exact wording, but, um, basically knowing the time to be, you know, um, be in our mindset, the Apostle Paul said they'd have voice because though they had none, so, you know, you, you, I might come home and call the pressure she get under. She can take it. She can take it. I did a video on that, you know. The woman take the, 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 the she hit and she has better know. And she pay for the things in the grocery store. And he can believe it. You know what I mean? And she says she can give it to her children. So, you know, I, I fall in that category. What you can do when, if she was to do that, like, you remember that vote, boy? Esau, Bible Belt, Edomites, they know, they, they know, they, they're on a higher level than these other camps. Because they know what's up. It says of the condition of things or a mental state by which we are enticed to sin or take it or to be or to a lapse from the faith and holiness a lapse is meaning you lose the faith for a little while but you kind of come back so if you lap if you if you lapse then you're gonna wind up taking then you're gonna realize that you shouldn't shouldn't have took it and then you're going to see how you can take it out. And you ain't going to be able to take it out. You might go back to the doctor and take it out. He said, nope, you can't, you can't take it out. You're supposed to have it. So y'all, you other camps, you people that follow these other camps, these false camps, you're going, you're going to F around and find out. Yeah, I can close there, man. So you can watch the video by Apostle Zaria. Thank you for watching. Watch it. You are really going to be tested. Kahalayim la Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Ha'kudash. Shalom.